All right, so right now we're at the point of the build where we got to check these um, the rods and the lead screws for straightness. This is kind of critical. This is critical to the uh, to the overall effectiveness of this machine. Now, I don't have a piece of glass, but I got this countertop. I mean, I'll see any wobble if there's anything that looks crazy excessive here. We're gonna we're gonna try to straighten them out if it's even possible. brand new medicine cabinet I had laying in a box. There's some little little crusties on there. I'm gonna go over them with the razor blade. There we go. We're gonna clean these rods off too. Just to make sure there's no crusties on this because that'll affect the way it oh yeah that's got a wobble oh yeah pretty bad too at this point I'm gonna try straightening them out I hope this doesn't delay the build That's got a little wobble to it, but it's not quite as bad. See, this one's really nice. Definitely within within reasonableness. Right, let's check these lead screws. Because if these lead screws ain't straight, that's where your Z wobble comes in. Tell you that's really nice and that's critical well that's part of the reason why you get z wobble now the other the other part is slopping the uh, linear bearings and also the way the nut fits on onto that but there's a way to put some preload on there and i'm hoping i'm going to be able to do that put some preload on the rods and the uh lead screws the lead screws we want to preload them vertically and then the rods we want to preload them if this is the machine frame we want to preload them one way or the other to the bearing so they're always hitting on one side of the bearing all right so these here are pretty good now i gotta i gotta figure out a plan to straighten these out okay this is a down and dirty way to do this. Basically, I got the slots here. I got these bearings, and I lucked out. I had some bearings that were 8 millimeters, same size as the rod. Now you can see at the end, there's, there's hardly no movement right there. We're talking maybe 25 tenths, not even half a thousand. All right. So now we're going to check it in the middle. See what we got going on there. Let me zero that out for you. We've got about five thousandths, four and a half thousandths. Now realistically that's not real bad. Let's see if we can strain it out a little bit. 
and it seems to be all in the middle. Let me check. I'm going to check about a third and two thirds. Let's see if we can straighten this out. This is going to be down and dirty here, boys. I'm just going to push on it on the high. Go a little at a time. See if that worked. I mean, perfection is not what we're looking here for. We're just looking for good enough. But okay, that's the high. <clears throat> There's a way to do this with a torch and cold water. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this any better. I'm not sure if I want to do it with a with a torch and water. Alright, here's the lead screws. Oh, that's one of them. We got about one and a half thousandths maybe. Which is I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm going to try the other one here. Let's see what we got going on here. Wow, that's really good. You can barely see it moving. Not even a thousandth. That's awesome. All right, well, that's good. That makes me feel better. Now we got to address these linear rods. It doesn't look bad spinning in the bearing. But the proof is in the numbers, right? Boy, that's not bad. That's about three and a half, four thousandths. That's really good. I'm happy with that. Especially because that's one of the longer ones. But I don't want to see much more than ten thousandths out of these things. We got more than ten thousandths. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna fuck up the whole thing, you know. Whoa. Whoa. What do we got there? Holy shit. That's 24,000, 25,000. Wow. That's the high spot. My mark is still there. You can't really see it, but let me, uh, let me mark it again. That's the high spot right there. All right, let me get my uh, acetylene torch set up here with a, with a small tip, and let's see if we can do a little bit better. See, the theory is, you heat up the high spot and then cool it and that shrinks the high spot right because that's longer theoretically that's a little bit longer than the, than the low spot and so by shrinking the high spot it takes the curve out of it I used to do this I mean I didn't straighten out rods I used to straighten out body panels like that because when we would bang them out they'd get stretched out and then to shrink them, that's what we do. We heat it up with a with a torch, get it nice and hot, and then cool it off with a wet rag, and it would uh, it would stretch the metal out. You know, I mean, shrink the metal down so that you wouldn't have a bubble in the panel. It worked out good, you know, because with body work, just kind of like it's kind of like drywall. You want things to to sit low. You never want them to sit high. You want them to sit low, then you can fix them with body filler. There's the high. I just put that flashing there so that uh, I don't do any damage to my rolling bed here. Shit, that looks pretty damn good.
Wow, that looks really good. Ha! Ah! Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. Half a thousand. That's awesome. From 25 thousands of play to half a thousand. That is freaking awesome. All right. Oh, that is awesome. One thousandth. That is sexy. I like that. All right. I'm going to do the other ones, and I'll be back with you guys. I'm only going to do the really bad ones. Wow, I'm so impressed with how this came out. That's great. Okay. I got all the rods straightened out. Um, there was really only two really bad ones, and one I should have left alone. This was the worst one. It was one of the longer ones. But I got this one in, within a, a thousandth, thousandth and a half of movement. This one was six thousandths out. It was one of the shorter ones. And uh, I actually made it worse, and then I had to fix it. And so. You know, my suggestion is if they're more than 10 thousandths out, or less than 10 thousandths out, I should say, if they're less than 10 thousandths out, I wouldn't even mess with them. Because 10 thousandths is not a lot of movement, um, especially on a rod like this. The um, I was really impressed with the lead screws on this. They were right there, right there, a, a thousandth, a thousandth and a half. So if I'm getting any Z-wobble, it's not because of this. It might be, it would be because of the, the couplings, you know wobbling and that's something else I'm gonna look at but there's two set screws on that so you can play with that a little bit and you can shim it and you can do all kinds of things to get those to run true so um, I think you know doing this really is gonna make the difference between a crappy print and a good print so that's where I'm at with that so I'm gonna continue with the rest of the assembly now because I was at the point where I needed to start putting rods in and I wanted to make sure that they were straight before I put this together